super early uh show didn't start for another two hours but you know registered cars and stuff go early so i'm just gonna park here for now and i'm actually gonna call an uber and go home and then grab the drift car so <laughs> that way i can try to get them parked next to each other because right now um, all the cars are over there in line trying to get to the parking i guess they're parking inside somewhere too i'm not exactly sure how it works yet i haven't had a chance but i need to go call an uber so but one car is here way back there all right my uber is 11 minutes away this is not my uber what's up man what's going on <laughs> this one I had to cut the inner fender real quick because uh, like I said it was rubbing and I cut the other side and I didn't cut that side yet but I just turned the wheel full lock and now I can cut it so shouldn't be any rubbing and cool thing about an angle kit I could probably get out with this car right in my way <laughs> I also just put the battery in after being freshly recharged and hopefully it starts if it doesn't start I'm kind of screwed started i'm good all right full lock let's see if i can get around this car oh that's easy that's so easy i need some power steering fluid the thing whining i'm actually driving the hot boy it feels so cool to be driving this car right now and this is the first time i like been in it since i put the louvers on there and it looks crazy looking in the back window <laughs> Both the girls are here. Got my homie Dylan about to drive the car. He's about to drive it in there for me because he just parked his Mustang. Mustang slammed on them things. So, but let's get in here. It's good. You need a peep. We are at the show, boys. What's up, homie? What's up, Black? Doing yeah. all right? Chilling, chilling. <laughs> all right, well, I just parked my cars. I'm trying to wipe them down real quick, and um, I'm right next to the entrance, which is kind of cool. And a bunch of cars are still rolling in, so like I said, it starts at 2 o'clock. It's 2.16, and we got everybody coming in. Some ex exotics. Slam car. Let's see a bunch of, bunch of everything. We'll do. We'll definitely do a walk around in a little bit because I want to talk to some friends and stuff, and then finish cleaning my cars off, and then we'll do a walk around. So let me clean this real quick. Be right back.
All right, I just wiped down ebony. I didn't really touch the red one. I didn't touch uh, Roxanne because paint's still fresh and honestly, it doesn't look dirty at all. So I just didn't didn't even bother. So um, might have been a waste of time because clouds are pretty heavy, and I don't think it's gonna rain. Hopefully, it's just overcast. But if it does, then not a waste of my time. But whatever. <laughs> Anyways, it's time to walk around and look at some cars. We saw some cool cars roll in not too long ago. And uh, excited to see what's actually here now. So let's flip this camera around and see what we got popping. Now, of course, I will be a little biased. And the first thing I want to check out is Zim 3. This thing's sick on the works. Looks like yellow. Looks, they look like 135 brakes, maybe. All right, this thing looks sick. Oh, a little panel delete and everything. So this thing looks fun. This thing's clean, just nice and simple. Now you guys saw the exotics roll in, so we're going to do a quick little run through on the exotics. Looks like they put them in a zigzag pattern going all the way back. So got a nice uh, GT3 here, a GT3 RS here. You know, I drove both of these cars, not these exact ones, but both of these cars on the channel and I love them. And GT RS is a little bit faster, feels a little bit more fun, but that's enough. That's more than enough. And the LFA, you heard that thing coming in, it sounds insane. These things are crazy. I haven't seen a lot. I remember when they first came out, there was a Lexus meet and they had two of them at the meet, like when they first came out and like I honestly have not seen one since. So it's kind of cool seeing this car. Can't see much all red interior, but it's sick. CCL performance, you know, they don't play. So this thing is obviously not stock. You could, well, the tire tells you it's not stock. <laughs> I am building a Honda one day. I can unsubscribe if you want to, but damn it, it's happening. Cause I want something like this. This looks so fun to drive. And easy to work on. <laughs> I did a photo shoot with this car a very, very long time ago. Photos are still dope. This thing is sick. Like I said, after I drove this car, man, I got a whole new respect for these cars. Yeah, them, them nostrils is a little out there, but you know what? The car makes up for it. And hopefully the new M2 makes up for it too, because God, that thing is ugly. What the hell is even that? Lord, have mercy. Never seen this car before. I'm about to check out the YouTube. Dante LSX. All right. Interesting E93. What color is that? So yeah, there's a lot of cars here. Again, also a lot of music, so I'm trying to stay away from it. But there's inside too, so I'm actually going on to see what's on the inside, because I haven't checked out inside yet. Oh. Okay.
F80 on them things, boy. SAR 32 is super sick. Super clean. The Evo is clean. This FD is clean. Actually, we saw this FD at a drift event. He actually drifts that thing. So not only is it clean, but he slides it. We saw this thing rolling in. Got a whole line of supers over here, MK4 and MK5. <laughs> oh, you got deep miles over here. Buster Miles F2 Pro Drifter. Good that boy. Hometown hero. Oh, no, that goes to the other side now. Don't be doing it like that. <laughs> I got that next side skirt over there. You good, you good. What's going on? Song with the quick release? <laughs> I just figured that out. Mike Mike right here. Uh, Tego over here. He, oh, we got a turbo tip. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on, man. Let me do it, y'all. Come on, man. You got the money maker over here. Jesus Christ. I'm taking a picture, so I got to wait for a second. I'm going to get that interior, though. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, that's carbon. You never seen one of these up close. That's carbon. This thing got a lot of lights on it and a whole different front end. E92. I need this badly. We got a fake taxi over here. <laughs> this thing's dope too. I think he smokes. I'm not sure. Man, look at regular dog over here. Just makes you want to do more Mazda E90, man. Just, 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 just a little, just a couple things, you know. Just chain wheel something. I don't know. I don't know. That shit kind of nice though. I like the brown on the C36. There's like gold flake in it. Yes, this is cool. This is different. A 
saw these Sylvia's when I first came in. I think super, super sick, super clean. I like just, just plain, simple, simple shit. That's dope. And this one's dope too. Yeah, love these wheels. Thanks, dope. A lot of dope cars over here. A lot of dope cars. It's those Gran Turismo memories right here. This thing's pretty dope. I've seen this car for a long time. Carbon fiber lips. Nice touch. I like the color scheme of this one right here. And the TRX. And now we're back over here with these girls. How you doing, Ebony? You doing all right? Chilling? I'm enjoying the cold weather because it's kind of cold now. You know, I was hoping the sun would come out. Didn't happen. Roxanne, you doing all right? You chilling? You doing all right? Just chilling? That's cool. That's cool. You can chill. I wish I had real wheels for this car. Rear wheels for this car. Um, actually, shit, I do. I forgot. <laughs> um, yeah, they're getting powder coated. So that'll be another video. all right well temperature is dropping wind is picking up i think i've seen enough i'm getting cold and plus i have to do the same process of getting here i have to drive a car home uber back and then um drive the other car so i'm gonna start off with the drift car start off with roxanne and uh yeah let me get up out of here so I actually got lucky because as I was leaving, my boy Hanan pulled up and um, he's actually going to follow me home and then he can bring me back. So I don't have to call the Uber. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> catch a ride I got to drive it boy give me them keys boy all right back at the show drove Hanon's car this car is fun man this car is super fun I mean E46 M3s are always fun but I've driven you know I've driven a few on my channel but this one's fun so and I just parked him right next to me right next to where Roxanne was so that worked out They repping Bucky, boy. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just got in my driveway. It was really cool having this car in a car show because now that I think about it, this is actually the very first time this car was in a car show. <laughs> I never thought Roxanne would actually be in a car show one day, but that's pretty cool. And maybe one day the Vert will be in a car show. So we need a name for her. I think I have a name. We'll figure it out later. But that's pretty cool that these two at least are in a car show. Maybe maybe get the trio one day. All right. Well, shout out to Clean Culture for hosting another cool event. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a little hard. Um, I'm sure everybody else feels the same way I feel. Um, <laughs> You know, um, if you guys are new here, one of the guys that worked for Clean Culture, his name is Juan. He's actually the one that actually painted this car 
um, a couple years ago, and he actually passed away. So it was weird being there at a clean culture event, and you know, for some reason you're walking around, and you just think you're gonna cross him. So it just so that kind of throws you off a little bit. But um, yeah, it was it was a cool event. A lot of cool cars. I had fun. I'm glad it was close. And um, yeah, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Deuces. I'll see you in the next one.